Shut up, babes. There, we there, we there. Back again with some comedy in the chocolate factory, you know, the chocolate factory. Okay. And this one here is um Black Run. Yeah. Michael Jackson was toxic. Of course he was toxic. There was no doubt about that. Michael Jackson was toxic as well. So. Alright, so let's hear what the point what what that what you point out, right? Yeah, but it's not that game in the brief. Yeah, well, let's go. The reason why I'm mad is because I am the exact man that my father raised me to be. And then I get wrong and they tell me that this kind of nigga is toxic. Well, <laughs> what do you mean toxic? Like I'm that blue bottle on the goddamn shelf. You drink this, it's gonna kill everybody. I'm poisonous. All I am is the exact wrong man that my daddy raised me to be. I'm from the South. I'm from Texas. Hell, do you mean? But then I did my research. And it dawned on me that all the ladies love that toxic shit. Yes, you do, bitch. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, the fuck you do. That that shit is cute until it don't work for you. Oh, y'all be acting like y'all got woman's intuition. Well, where was your spider sense when you shook his hand? They didn't tell you that he beat bitches when you... When he said, hey, how you doing? I'm still fun. Yeah. Then nothing tingles. Oh, he wolf hoes. Like... <laughs> Nah, that shit was cute when y'all first going together and shit. He he whooped the nigga for accidentally bumping into you at the club and shit. You was like, ooh, my nigga, uh, fight for me. Uh. Then when he at your cousin wedding, tearing your uncle ass up. <laughs> so he pinched you on the booty. I'm calling, hey, baby, girl, pinch you on your booty. That nigga tore that whole fucking wedding up. Now you like, step up. Oh, my God. Cause you like that toxic shit. Y'all been liking that toxic shit my whole pubescent life. I'm 36, do your math. That mean I was born in 85. That mean I entered puberty in 96. I was 11. Jodeci was a hot ass group. Yeah, yeah. All through the 90s, Jodeci was a hot ass group. All while I was 8 to 11 coming up. All little boys watch our older cousins or older brothers if you got them. And you watch how they co-mingle and coexist with the female existence. You see what they do. You listen to the song. You peep the movements. You mimic their maneuvers. And Jodeci was one of the coldest groups. And y'all remember, they were standing in the desert. And they dropped one of the coldest songs ever called Cry For You. And every woman was like, yes, man. Yeah, the desserts. I want that coolest song. <laughs> they go cry for me. And it was all four of them. KC, JoJo, Devontae, and Mr. Dabble. KC was out there. Blue jean vest, no shirt. Cut off jeans. Jodeci boots. We don't even know what kind of boots they was, but they was Jodeci boots. <laughs> KC proceeded to sing out loud. He said, it's been an hour since you've been gone. And that's too long. Come back home. Can't live you. And it never dawned on y'all that that nigga said 60 minutes had elapsed, and that was too fucking much time. <laughs> and that you needed to come your ass back the fuck home. An hour? An hour? Can't see? That's too long. <laughs> y'all like that toxic shit. <laughs> You know who the most toxic nigga ever was? Michael Jackson. 
Michael Joseph Jackson. All his songs toxic. Mike out here getting the side coochie, telling everybody. Make this bitch at the club, I put it down on the street. Put a bitch in the car, she might go to me. Sir, that's not how this song goes, sir. Sir? Sir? That's not how this song goes, sir. I doubt it. No, no, but I don't know. I don't say that song, but I don't know. That ain't really what he said, but I'm paraphrasing. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that nigga Mike was so toxic, he witnessed the murder and wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, that was the other song, Won't You Hush and Let Me Tell the Jokes. <laughs> oh, I want to participate. I know what he's talking about, face hands. But the next joke song was Smooth Criminal. Mm -hmm. Well, he uh, witnessed the murder and would not say that. Yeah. The type of creep ass nigga stand there and watch a woman get murdered and want to say that. And, and I came from the window. <laughs> I heard the sound. <laughs> <laughs> it came under your apartment. I saw some bad stains on the carpet. You know, lean all up in her window. Mm -hmm. And then, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then, are you okay? Are you okay? What? What you call 911? Creepy ass little boy. <laughs> but let's be we, we we did a reaction to the, not the song itself because we could not play the song. But we were shocked. We were shocked at the song. All these years we have been listening to Michael Jackson. Did not know that that song. That's what he was saying. It was shocking. And you is it? And you up? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And the dude make it sound cool. Fair, fair witness of murder. A smooth criminal. Yeah. Cause the person basically kill her and got away. Yeah. Probably no evidence and he, he, he probably just stepped in just a second late. And the person got away. The most toxic song of all. Michael had got some coochie from a lady one night, one evening. They had a beautiful time together. And then that lady moved on with her life. Got married. Married a rich nigga. He took her back to Wakanda or Zamunda or somewhere nice. <laughs> like that. Had built up a brand new palace. But like most women, she still wasn't satisfied. She's sitting over there bored. He don't know what to do to entertain her. He said, what must I do? So he started doing little talent shows at the house. He started inviting all kinds of niggas up to the house. Jugglers, swallow eaters. You know the niggas that be swallowing, eating shit, five swords, swallow eaters. <laughs> Magicians and shit. And none of them niggas were entertained this lady. She still was not amused. Nine different niggas performed. Then the tenth nigga showed up, he wasn't even on the list. Magic Johnson didn't even know what to call him. He was like, and hey, now, this nigga. <laughs> and this nigga walked out in front of this lady and her brand new husband, all on these people, brand new flow, opened up a bag of dirt and pulled it, all on these people, brand new palace flow, <laughs> and walked the fuck off. And they was like, hey, what you gonna do about this dirt? And Michael spun his toxic ass out the dirt. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Do you remember? And she immediately recognized Michael. That's why she looked the fuck off. Like, I know Michael ass. <laughs> Ain't here talking about that one time we fucked. That one time. <laughs> At my brand new house in front of my husband. <laughs> But she ignored Mike for the whole fucking song. But Mike would not be ignored. <laughs> Who jumped out the dirt with him? All the background dancers. <laughs> Mike had receipts. <laughs> Mike started naming places. Do you remember? On the phone. After dark. In the park. You and me. Two or three. A what about? Ah, 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 ah,
correct, sir. I just could not figure it out. <laughs> I know that it made sense, but it, it did not make sense at the time. He just he, he didn't want to say that on camera, sir. That's what he actually did. Woo! <laughs> I'm black world. Good night. Ah, oh, that was that was fire. Yeah, that was fun. That was fire. Yeah. That was funny. Alright, alright. So we're on to the next one. Eight bars. <laughs>